All right, get your popcorn ready, whatever you gotta do. Watch me struggle with this water pump. It's actually an easy job. The hard part is getting this shroud out and the fan. So you can watch me struggle with it. Let's get it. Let's see what we got here. Move this connector. that out of the way still feels hot but it's not pressurized so I got to take this hose off get that out of the way yeah the plan was to work on this van today hard to make plans because they always change got to try to stay positive because this job's not too bad could be a lot worse could need a new engine all right get that clamp out of the way I'm gonna have to take this side off too to get it out of my way. Take the whole hose off. There we go, got a little splashing out of that one. Come on, buddy. Just need the clamp to move up. The hose can stay. Oh, there goes the pliers, channel locks. That's even better. Come on, there you go. So I'm going to put a pan under there to catch any fluid. Right now the pan is catching the fluid from the van. Looks like we're mixing orange and green today. It is what it is. catching on something where you at you're close but no cigar that's eh, close enough just driving it I drove it to pick up the new water pump new belt this hose isn't even a year old so hopefully I can reuse it came off pretty nice now we're gonna start mixing parts. Dodge Ram van, 2003 Chevy Trailblazer. It is what it is, I guess. All right, what's next here? We got two bolts here. Look like two 10 millimeters. 
that's used at the wall. Love this thing. route is loose just got to pop the transmission lines off of it so I can pull it out let's do the uh, fan belt now not the fan belt the fan clutch let's see here so this is the tool I have for the fan clutch but I'm not gonna be able to use this so what I do is I use these ginormous channel locks to grab the bolts on the pulley. Cause yeah, I've had it off before. And if you have one, you probably did too. So I just grab the four bolts. Go down with this wrench to the nut. See what we got here. Slipped off. I got a feeling I'm going to need a hammer too. You hear crunching or some dude over there in the trees. I don't know what he's doing. Snapping branches. I, you know, I don't know. All kinds of strangeness goes on in this world. What do we got here? You gonna come free? Oh, that doesn't fit. Is that what the problem is? That's the problem, this wrench doesn't fit. I know it fits for the Dodge. There you go, fits on there. Now we just gotta loosen it. <clears throat> yep, I need the hammer. What's the chance of that staying? Stay. My little tin knocker hammer. You need three hands. Come on. Come on. No. What do we got? We got success. All right. That wasn't too bad. Now get out of there, bud. Let's get this out of the way. Gotta keep checking the phone to make sure you can see what I see. Hmm. What we got over there? Looks like I'm gonna have to clean that mess up too. Yep. Jamie made a mess. All right, now, so unscrew this. There's a brand new radiator in there I changed about six months ago. Hopefully we don't damage it with this falling into it. I mean, you could try to fight it and do it like this, but Nah, I'd rather take it out. I'd rather fight this out, get it out of my way. Let's see if I can handle it. All 
right so those are loose the transmission lines all right so there's that now let's see if we can fight this thing out of here again this is the hardest part there's that the water pump itself is all simple and straightforward this is the problem this is a problem apparently engineers don't know how to read tape measures something we try to be positive here so if Basically, I looked at the service dad. It wants you to remove this and it wants you to take the radiator out Well, I've done it before without doing all that and that's what I'm going to try to do again See what we can do here Something, Something's catching I think it's the transmission lines. Should slide right out if people know how to read tape measures. I think one time I actually pulled the fan out without the shroud. Another time I had to take out both. I guess it's all different every time you do it. I just, I don't see what would be caught down there. I'm not seeing it. So I might have to try to force flex it here to get it around there and it should come out. break the fan blades either. Last time I looked them up, I couldn't get them. Let's try to force flex this. Or the question is, do we notch it here? Oh, there we go. Something just gave up. Come on. There we go. Force flex. Nope. I need what a quarter of an inch there <clears throat> come on You're almost there come on oh now it's cutting it there we go sheesh this all to the side man greasy there you go here's the water pump hmm oh duh I still gotta take the belt off let me clean my hands I'm gonna turn this off for a minute come right back all right let's remove the bolt the uh, belt bolt where do I get bolt from belt tensioner I guess it's flipping up yeah it's flipping up for tension it's got to go down 
So what's the problem, bud? Didn't seem to want to go. All right. Get you off of here. You're going in the trash anyway. Hopefully, hopefully the new belt I bought fits. But we'll put you here just in case. All right, so now I gotta take these uh, pulley bolts out. There's four of them here. These are what I grabbed with the channel locks. But yeah, oh yeah, that's bad. Definitely bad. I was getting ready to have a serious problem. I drive a lot of miles every day. I would have been stuck somewhere. They should be 13 millimeter. Hmm. Yeah, this thing's a beast. So apparently I need to hold that, but so I probably should have did that before I took the belt off. That would have made too much sense. All right, see what we can do here. See if this will work. Nah, I don't wanna mess that up. Let's see what we're gonna do here. I gotta think. Maybe we'll just try to loosen them with the ratchet. the new pump didn't come with a pulley come on buddy no you're gonna slip on me so I guess I gotta put the belt back on and we're all twisted steering pump now we should be able to loosen them hopefully what did I do with the 13 over there Let's 
see what we got here. Yes. 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 And yes. Take the belt back off. you up there in case now it's running them bolts out here we go this off I'm gonna have to clean this before I put the belt back it's all greasy and that's it that's your water pump little guy looks like a couple 10 millimeters looks like it was leaking anyway I mean I did this maybe three or four years ago and it's shot AutoZone man I guess it's all of them the quality of parts is just not there all right, let's get this thing out of here. All right, there's one little skinny guys. dead already nope full bars maybe I didn't have the battery in all the way like five bolts hmm what's up bro why are you stuck I'll give it a little tap Crash anyway. I 
This is another bolt somewhere. No, just five. There we go. Oh, we're gonna get some more fluid. For some reason, the pan won't fit. I'm just gonna have to clean it up. Come on, buddy. Screwdriver? Okay. Oh, we're making a mess now. Come on, buddy. Just hit the radiator. Leak? I'm leaking, Alex. You gonna help? Huh? You gonna help? Set it on fire. So we'll make an insurance call. Just give me yours. It's mine, man. You got a Chevy too. I'm sure you got problems. No. <laughs> That's only after you hit like 400,000 miles. Look. I guess I can't do it like this. It has to be on the car, but the, the bearings are shot. So it's wobbling, making a noise. I start so smelling antifreeze. Off? Yeah, a little, little tiny thing, right? It's trash. <laughs> What's that, your kid? You got your kid working with you? That's good. My kid works with me too. Oh. He's been sick the past couple of days. Nifty fifties. How's your project? It's been throwing up. Which one? I got the van. I got this. I got that valve. You still soaking? Nah. Look at. I got to do more clean. It looked better when I first <laughs> took it out. Now it's rusty again. What are you gonna do? I'll get to it eventually. Fucking tip on calling me, dude. The fucking fire alarm was going off. It's from yours from yeah. your you know why don't you the water probably the, 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 yeah the roof's leaking yeah i'm sure so he replaced mine and the pool station and then i had to set up a sump pump up on top of the the office and it's not leaking anymore it's going into the sump pump and into the sink you know what i mean you got to do what you got to do he's not going to replace the roof the roof's probably two three hundred grand easy you can't uh, fix it you can't, no, fix, you can't it. fix it they just keep patching it and it makes a speed bump. It's on a slope. So the water lays there and it takes two days sometimes and it leaks. Gonna happen, the metal's gonna rot through. <laughs> it's already rotten through. <laughs> it's all corrugated. <laughs> it's all trash. It was never done right in the first place. Well, I had to go to his house and I had to replace his panel. His panel burnt up. Really? From what? He's fucking old, dude. He's a fucking idiot, dude. What's it, a push o matic Nah, nah. He has like a, like a 320 amp service. He got two 200 amp panels, but. I ripped that. 200 amp panels? Why not just get a 100 amp panel? No, he has two 200 amp. Oh, two 200. You did a nice job for him, too. Wait until I get him a bill. Yeah, I don't want that bill. Look Give that shit. bill to him. He's, he's this, got this that money. This was his panel, dude. Hello. Hmm. What's it look like now? Oh, wow. Yeah, I got to get you over Rhea's house. Nah, dude. Fix Shut everything up. Sal did. Look how nice that is. It is. It's beautiful. Oh, man. Where was it at? The oh, last no. one? One of these. Yeah, it's nice. It took some time to do it. You know? Can't rush it, I guess, you know? Nah, trying to do a good job, dude. This simple, simple water pump job. It's right there. The problem is that fan and that shroud getting that off. That's the nightmare. Fuck some zip ties, we'll get it back on. <laughs> yeah, if it gets dark, you're gonna pull up in front of my shop with the light. <laughs> I could probably see from here with your light. Your light's like the sun. I'll see you, I'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's clean up the gasket mating surface. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see what we got here. I'm 
going to go easy, easy with it. Okay, so I want a thin coat of sealer on both sides. Nice. So we'll do that. Here's the new pump. It's just a little guy. All right, let's get the sealer. Two bags of parts. There's the belt. Got some scrapers just in case. Here we go. something to cut these to cut this with got some tin snips we'll do that <sighs> let's see going on here there you 
go. Alright, so that dimple goes in. Like that. It makes sense. Because there's a little dimple in here, too. Let's see if I got something to wipe that with. goes like that so we're going to have to sit you down somewhere tough to squeeze when it's cold outside Looks like the gas gets tweaked a little bit. Those two go there, it looks like. See if we can get some bolts in. not recommend putting this in with the electric ratchet unless you you know you're you're capable of backing off a little bit we'll just go i'm just gonna run them in with that and then i gotta get the torque wrench and torque them but that will put a torque on that thing's a beast want to get them close oh got carried away see oh we'll find out with the torque wrench all right go look for it All right, so I just looked at some documentation. It says the initial pass should be 35 inch-pounds. 
Got my little husky torque wrench. So we'll do 35 inch pounds, which it's already at. Interesting. Yep, it's already at there. But let's make sure all of them. See that one was loose. All right, 35. That's at 35. This one's not. All right, there's 35. Now you go to 89 inch pounds, like mostly everything else in there. These are all 89 inch pounds. So let's go there. I don't know if you guys can see. I can barely see. pounds let's give it a shot hmm, it's already at 89 inch pounds crazy let's go up here let's go down here and this doesn't click but you can feel it you just can't hear it all right, so that one's good. That one's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <sighs> so I don't really want to mess with that now. You know, I'm not going to, I don't want to start the engine or anything like that. I need to give it some time. But, uh, we can put the fan and all back together. I just, I don't want any leaks. I'm not looking to do it again. Leave that there, so I'm probably going to need that again. Make sure it spins freely, which it does. I can leave this plastic ring on there to protect the uh, threads. All right, let's put the pulley back on. Actually, I guess we got to do the fan belt. So, put this pulley on and then the fan belt. Then tighten this. Well, we'll just get it on there loose. I can see, of course not. Wow. So far, this is going nice and smooth. I guess that dude left. There was some dude over there in the woods. Make sure you can see. See a little area of woods over there? Some dude is always there on the weekends. I, I don't know what he's doing, but he's always breaking branches. And I don't know if he's bee hunting. He's looking for bees. I mean, I don't know what he's doing, but every weekend since I've been here, since 2014, he's over there snapping twigs and breaking branches. I don't know. He never says anything, so I don't say anything either. He's not on my property, you know, so I guess I shouldn't even worry about it. Let's see if we can run these in with the ratchet. The electric ratchet. Easy. Oh, 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 don't get carried away. Let's 
All right. Now we put the belt on. Actually, I think I should take that plastic piece off that protects the, uh, that plastic piece protects the threads. We don't need that right now. All right, it's out of there. What's next? The belt, the belt. A little let's see it's a little tighter than the old one but the old one probably stretched so the question is will I be able to get this on there let me show you something see this 915k6 well, she gave me a different belt, 905K6. That's for the EXT model. This isn't the EXT, and that wouldn't fit. That's too, it was too short. I'm hoping this one's not too short. But let's find out. All right, so we got that. Go around the world here. Get on to the air conditioner compressor, other pulley, alternator. All right. Let's see what we got here. We'll finally, the power steering. Oh man, this, this is not looking good. This is looking too small, too short. That gave me a little more room that wasn't on right. Where's Mr. Ratchet at right here? Let's see what we got. Oh, really? Had to fly over there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, looks good. Just barely got it on there. Which should make it tight. I mean, I did another video about that Continental kit that comes with the, the tensioner, comes with the idler pulley and the belt. The belt was trash. The tensioner was trash. I could lift this way up. Oh, I forgot to clean that uh, pulley. I remember I said I was going to clean it. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't have to take it all apart again. So now I got to torque them. Let's see what they are. Here's the documentation. there tighten bolts to 18 foot pounds oh 25 newton meters so what did i do with the torque wrench circus Put it up here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a different, different torque ratchet for that. That doesn't go high enough. I'll come right back. All right, so I got the Pittsburgh Tools torque wrench, 18 foot pounds. Let's see if we can get these without it slipping. 
See, this one clicks. I just heard it. Let's go over here. That's not very tight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go a little further. And that's when it starts slipping. That's funny. It's good until you go past and then it starts slipping. We'll go with that. Now all that's left is putting the fan back in this hose. I might have to cut this little thin piece of plastic here so it doesn't rip the hose. That got torn trying to pull that shroud out. See what we got. I'm trying to beat the dark. Dark's coming. All right, so that's all in. Put everything over here out of the way. Because then we got to deal with this circus. Seems to go in a whole lot easier than it came out. But I still got to force flex it around here. Hmm. It's not too bad. Okay, so now the transmission lines are in the way. In the service data, it tells you to remove it. But uh, these, these are a nightmare themselves. We're not getting into all that. Come on, buddy. You just got to go around a little bit and down. No big deal. Now these transmission lines. Wow. Something's caught. Yep, transmission lines. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing, being that it's so dark. I mean, I could put that DeWalt in here, but that thing's a flicker fest. There's so much you gotta fight with this fan shroud. You're fighting these transmission cooler lines down here. And you gotta get the fan shroud in the bottom. And you're fighting the fan itself. There's a lot to fight because someone couldn't read a tape measure or properly calculate things. So it's almost there and something's holding. It's probably something to do with this. I don't know. Come on, buddy. There's that one. And there's that one. So now there shouldn't really be anything in the way, but there's always something you gotta fight at the bottom. Let's try 
to get that on. Get that started anyway. crooked so that's not going to screw on so what do we got here what's holding up to be honest it went in too easy take the camera off and come back but you get the you get the basic idea it's in there I just gotta line it up put the hose back on and it's done all right so I did get it back together I had a hard time with the shroud I mean I was able to just pull it out but getting it back in there's a lot going on down there See, the bottom of this plastic shroud has two pins that have to go in the frame, and I had it jammed. So because of that, this was all tweaked, and that wouldn't allow me to get the fan back on. But uh, I finally got it. And, and another tip, trying to get the fan on, you have to push in and have it at the right angle to try to thread it. I mean, I struggled to the point where I was ready to give up. And then I just grabbed here on the shroud and pushed it in a little bit, started to turn the fan, and it thread it right on. It's crazy. Never give up. So uh, I got this plug back in. I put the bolts back in the shroud. Let's give it a shot. Well, one problem is I forgot to get antifreeze. I got to get the orange stuff for this. So I'm thinking I lost maybe a gallon. Hopefully I can make it over there to get it. But let's fire it up and see. It's been sitting for about an hour and a half. The whole job took me about two hours. That that's going in and looking for tools and talking to neighbors and all that stuff it's probably an hour hour and a half job let's fire it up see what we got Sounds good. I tried to show everything, but unfortunately, that shroud, man, I, I, you know, you, you got to be here to see it. It's a mess. 